it's time. Today we're gonna finally get to drill the new Hammer Purple Pearl Urethane Bowling Balls. We have not been able to drill these since I've gotten them. I've gotten them about two weeks ago. But let's go ahead and pull these both out of the box real quick. And let's go ahead and talk about the specs of these two bowling balls and exactly what we're getting into here. And we're gonna drill actually both of these bowling balls today. So let's talk about what layouts we're gonna put on both of them as well as what the specs of these two bowling balls are or what the specs of this one bowling ball because it's one bowling ball we're just drilling two of them with two different layouts so let's get into it all right so now that we have these balls out of the boxes and you can see the nice vivid purple dark deep vivid purple that we have here now what i have seen from other videos this ball in particular is definitely cleaner and stronger down the lane than the original purple hammer so let's talk about the materials and everything that this bowling ball specifically has in it so to start off with it's a mid-performance bowling ball it is obviously purple pearl color it has the led core which has a rg of 2.65 and a differential of 0 0.015 so the highest rg the lowest differential on any bowling ball on the market at the moment in time whenever it comes to a urethane or performance ball, hands down the lowest and highest RG and differential that you'll ever see. Obviously the cover stock is gonna be a urethane pearl cover uh, and the cover type is obviously a pearl urethane. So the cover stock is called urethane pearl, the actual cover type is a pearl urethane and this ball is finished at 500, 1000 and 2000 grit Sire micro pad finish. Uh, this ball is obviously used for lighter and medium oil conditions. So let's talk about the layouts that we're going to do. So the one on the right, we are going to go with a 60 by 3 and 3 quarters by 45 layout. And the one on the left, we are going to go with a 60 by 4 by 45 degree layout. The reason why we're making the pin distance is different is because I want this one that has a shorter pin to be a little bit stronger and heavier rolling through the middle part of the lane while this one is going to be the one that's a little bit cleaner and a little bit less strong through the front and middle part of the lane now why am i going to do that is so whenever i am bowling on those shorter pattern conditions and the lanes get really messy throughout the course of three or four games or more i can actually go from one to the other depending on what the lanes are seeing transition wise all right so let's go ahead and get these laid out we have both of them here uh, I said initially I was gonna do 60 by four by 45 and then 60 by three, three quarters by 45. But I'm actually gonna change this one up a little bit. I'm gonna go three and a half inch pin instead of a three and three quarters. I feel like the three and three quarters is a little bit too close in motion. Uh, so I wanna really, really make sure that both of these balls are different in its own way. So let's go ahead and start off with laying out this guy. Again, we're going 60 by four by 45 so we're gonna go 60 first on the first angle right here and then we're gonna go this ball and we are gonna go four inches here and then we are gonna go 45 here all right and then we're gonna draw our two inch mark downwards and then we're gonna go across for the three and a quarter for my PAP. So again, I'm three and a quarter over and then two inches up for my PAP. We're gonna mark out that center line of mine. Obviously I only use two fingers, so my center line and my center of grip are the exact same thing. So this right here is my center of grip. My fingers are gonna go right here. But there's the first one. Again, we went 60 by four by 45. All right, and then let's lay out this other one which again is gonna be 60 by three and a half now by 45. And again, I have a tournament up this weekend and it's on house shot, but these balls world great on the house shots anywhere I bowl at. So I'm hoping it's gonna do the same thing for me here. Uh, my hand is also a little bit more underneath the ball now, so I'll be able to do a little bit more with urethane than I did before. I used to get around it a lot more, so this is gonna be a great opportunity for me to see what urethane will do for me. I haven't thrown urethane balls in a while since this ball was uh, taken out of the equation, but here we are back again. Alrighty, I'm gonna mark our two inch spot for our downwards. And we're gonna go across our three and a quarter. Alrighty, 
Let's go ahead and draw our bridge now. Our first bridge. Here's our second bridge, right there. Boom. Alrighty, perfect. So our fingers are gonna go right here and right here. Again, we have to be more specific: 60 by 4 by 35. And then again on this one, 60 by three and a half by 45. So let's get ahead and get these on the drill press and get to drilling them up. Purple Hammer had this softer material as a cover, which is why this happens right here, making it a little bit more gummy of a material, I guess you could say. It's not really gummy, because it's still super hard, right? But just whenever it drills, it drills a lot more, uh, I don't know, shetty, I guess is the word that I'm looking for, I guess. I'm not sure. Ryan, just cut that out, I'm sorry. If anything, just cut out my talking in general. Just play music over this. First shot with the purple hammer. This is my four inch pin one again. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, first shot with the urethane is always gonna be that strong. So we're gonna throw a few shots with it, break it in and see what we can do with that as we go. All right, second shot with it. You'll see a little bit of a different reaction because the oil has gone onto it. out of it. Okay, I'm still with the four inch pin one. Again, we're aiming between first and second arrow, trying to get it through the lane a little bit. Definitely a lot stronger of a ball than the original. Uh, down the lane, it's a lot cleaner, so it's a lot stronger down the lane. Has a little bit more back end to it. All right, once again, moving further right, we're gonna go try to hit second arrow now. Just keep our hand nice and open at the bottom and try to get the ball out to about six or seven down the line. A little bit better. Smash the pocket. Missed it out a little bit, but it was able to recover. clip with the four inch pin one. Link that one outside. Super strong still on the back end, that's great. Absolutely phenomenal what this ball can do through years. This ball was definitely the strongest urethane ball to its existence. And then even to the day whenever they re-release it, a little bit of a cleaner, stronger cover makes it all the better. So definitely a great comeback out of the Hammer brand. So now we're gonna throw the three and a half inch pin one. Should be a little bit earlier, so we'd probably be able to move in a little bit more. I'm gonna move about two more boards just to not overdo it. But here we go. Okay, definitely can't just leak it inside. I gotta keep it out. Really relax my hand. I'm trying to get around it too much. But. A little bit earlier, so I picked up and then died off a little bit more. I'm going to move it back left a little bit. All right, here we go again. Three and a half inch purple hammer. Trying to make sure we get it to the spot we need to this time around. There we go. That looks a lot better. Messenger flying off of it. I 
I will say, as I'm throwing both of these balls, uh, as they get more oil into them, they are definitely hooking less. So keep that in mind when you're throwing your essay. The more oil the ball has sitting on its surface, the less it's going to hook. So you're going to close down your angles a lot faster. Looks a lot better. I definitely will be using these whenever I bowl on shorter patterns or if this house shot gets really beat up or if I'm bowling with several different lefties. So make sure you guys go to bowlingworld.biz. Pre-orders here today to make sure you secure one. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, like the video. And on to the next one. Peace out, guys.